What's going on guys? It's Time Zone welcoming you back to the next episode of our Super Mario Odyssey Let's Play Blind. We are here chillaxing and relaxing over here in the Seaside Kingdom. Right on our ship, our nice cozy comfortable little ship. The, the metal cannot be super comfortable to be lying down on. But we're going to jump over into the next kingdom after spending a little bit of time here. Collecting some moons, helping out with uh... Did we do this already? Did I go in here? Real quick, I just wanted... Oh yeah, we did. Okay, we did that in the last episode. If you guys did not see it, go check it out. Um, and now we are going to go see what the next kingdom is. Right here. Uh, do not want to go inside. Let's go add the moons. So this is becoming a straight up hot air balloon here. Our ship is losing its sail and is building up a giant balloon up top, which is interesting. Very interesting for sure. Uh, because I don't know if it's supposed to catch the wind anymore or how it's supposed to fly around or move But whatever. I mean, I haven't questioned a lot in this game. That's something that is is starting to bother me a little bit. So What's our next kingdom? Are we going to Asia? Is that Asia over there? The luncheon kingdom This is super colorful. Everything looks like jelly in here Luncheon. How many have we done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 11. We have done, have we, we've done 11 kingdoms. Our, this is going to be our 11th kingdom. So I heard there's around 14 or so, so I'm guessing we're reaching the end of our odyssey, which is kind of crazy to think about. Kind of crazy to think about. But let's see, I'm guessing the luncheon kingdom is where Bowser decided to get all the food for his guests. Uh, he already has the cake, he has the champagne or sparkling water. Yeah, sparkling water. I I see you. Don't, don't play games with me. Don't play games with me, Nintendo. Okay. Wants to make a toast using the sparkle water. Oh, okay, so he doesn't really have anything to say about... The stupendous stew. Okay, that's what it is. Using a volcano to prepare the stupendous stew. So that's interesting. Um, I personally like my stews out of volcanoes as well. Uh, I think that they they tend to be the freshest um, if you have them right at the volcano. A lot of the times I would I would go to the top of the volcano and take uh, my ladle and just pull out some of the stew and you know just eat it right there. I think it's it's a nice location. Uh, the food is fresh, um, and that's what is that thing. Does it want meat? Is that is that giant bird asking for meat? Let me talk to my boy Link. Have him cook you up some stuff. These are tomatoes. Look at these tomatoes. They're 3D. These coins are 3D. Well, I mean, like, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Look at these chef Goombas. Can, are we gonna become tomatoes? Is that what's happening? Has Mario has Mario jumped the shark? Is this the end for the Mario friend? Oh, that is piping hot! I know that feeling. Wow, he is burned. All of his clothes are burned. He is not having a good time. I totally know that feeling though. Uh, tomatoes somehow end up becoming so ridiculously hot on the inside uh, if you cook them. It's a little crazy. But I'm guessing I can't become them. I just hit them and they, they melt into like this tomato lava, which I totally understand. Okay. Oh, okay, we need to bring a Goomba here to get the lady. Right off the bat, wow, she is right here at the front of the level looking for her mans. Looking for her mans. Uh, we can definitely ground pound this, so that's coins. I thought it was going to be something a little more exciting. Uh, the coin ground pounds are... Ouch. Owie! Coin ground pounds are definitely a little disappointing every time that happens to me. Every time I get a coin in a ground pound scenario, I'm just like, eh, I don't, I have 2,184 of these, I, I'm not really looking for another, no way, no, no way, we can become one of these guys now, these have been around since the first Mario, okay, and they die when they hit land, okay, got it, got it, got it. This is crazy. This is subverting my entire understanding of Mario games at this point. It's just like, holy crap, we can become these guys that we worked so hard to avoid in every Mario game ever. Okay. 
My back is super itchy, guys. I don't know. I'm sorry I keep doing this, like, this thing just, like, scratching my back. It's super weird. Um, it's, it has to be weird to watch, but there's this, just, like, itchy right here. I'm fighting this bozo again. And he's still having stomach problems, uh, which I don't want anywhere near my luncheon. I don't want my stew getting affected by any of this. Like, you need to leave, bro. You need to leave. Get out of here. Don't be doing this. Don't be doing this at the luncheon kingdom. That's just vile. That's just vile. Get some health and lose it. Get some health and lose it immediately. Okay, man, I get it. I get it. You're mad. You're mad. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this guy has wide range this time. We've knocked that off. Bop! And now wait for this hat to just, like, fly everywhere. Look, there's a there's a hat thing down there. A little a doorway that we can go into, so uh, pretty pumped about that. Okay. Okay, we didn't even need to wait. We didn't even need to wait for him to spew his innards out everywhere. We don't need to wait for him to chunda everywhere. Light blue, I really like this color. That's a super cool neon uh, sky blue, baby blue color. Did you guys used to, you know when we were kids and we got like giant crayon packs, like 256, 512 crayon colors? 10... 1,024 crayon packs, like, 2056, I can, or, 48, I can keep going, 2048, throwback, that's a, that's a throwback game, um, why was I even talking, oh yeah, uh, did you notice how there were so many pinks, those packs had so many pinks, there was like, electric pink, tickle me pink, flamingo pink, cotton candy pink, uh, what else, like, what would this be? I think this is cotton candy pink. Or bubblegum pink? There's so many pinks! There's so many pinks and it bothers me. Why? I, I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it does. It's like, oh my goodness. What other colors? This is like 90% of this box right here is just random variations of pink. And when do you ever use pink in anything you're drawing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it just gets me riled up. It gets me a little riled up, guys. But I, I do appreciate the color. I appreciate the color. I'm dying here. I'm dying here. Uh, let's go. Let's go over there. There is this under, under. There's like this tunnel thing happening. No one see what's on the other side. Hey, there's a way through here. Thanks, Gabby. Yeah. Thanks. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? Bam. Are there? I are there? There's no. There's never a moon in one of these question blocks, right? Oh, okay. Okay, so we clearly can go up, up here. I don't think I needed that last one. Oh, okay, cool. Get some of these tomato purples. Purple tomatoes. Purple tomatoes. I didn't even need to do all that. I could have just probably used my hat and some cool little uh, speed running tricks to get out there. Okay, let's let's go to the other side of this kingdom, beyond that goober gobber brutal guy, and see what else this kingdom has to offer. Honestly, that giant bird thing has to be the main boss of this. What is this thing? Flick. Oh, it's another uh, flingle. Just a different. It's a different. Oh, are these? These are the people here. They're utensils. Each of the people here are utensils. Peronza Plaza, Peronza. Mount Volbono. Bono, like good in Italian? Things are kind of on fire right now, that's funny. Th that bird up there showed up out of nowhere and took over a stew pot. Just when we were making more of our special stupendous stew too, everyone was getting ready to dig in. That sucks, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry there's a bird eating all your food. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. I don't need it, but I'll take it. This is such an interesting kingdom. Look at all these shapes and colors and designs. Like, this is like, uh, 
This is oh, there's another. What is that called? Ouch! Another one of these lottery things or slots things. But I really like the design of this place. It just feels so uh, so unique, so original. Ten coins to play. This is gonna be easy. We're too good at this at this point, I think. We're too good at this at this point. Cause I can just do this, get three of them, go here, and uh, do this and get two of them. Too good, just too good. And I am having a little bit of uh, iced coffee, or it used to be iced, it was iced. And I'm sure this looks so appetizing, look at that. Mm. Delish, but it actually is. It actually is really delicious. Fun fact about me, I do not drink hot coffee. I, I really don't like hot coffee. I honestly don't even like hot chocolate. I think I've just been traumatized by that because when I was a kid, like every single time I drank hot chocolate, I would burn my tongue. Every single time. Like, oh my goodness. I could have rolled into that and made like a really cool strike kind of thing, like a bowling thing. But I think there was one day, it might have been like 4th of July or um, New Year's or something. There was some, some event going on and I was in the middle of the city. And I burned my tongue for like the 30th time drinking hot chocolate. And this was after waiting, mind you, for it to cool down a little bit. Like I don't immediately grab it and drink it. I'm not, I'm not crazy. Um, and I'm pretty sure I vowed to never drink like hot chocolate again after that. I have, I have, I have drank hot chocolate, especially at some like cool, fancy places where everyone's like, oh my God, you gotta try the hot chocolate. Um, but I just, it's not something I, I go after, you know? It's not something I would prefer to do or something I would aspire to do even. Um, it's just, it's not my thing. I like stuff iced, I like stuff cold and refreshing. Another voice crack, that's been happening way too much. Why is that happening? I don't know. Okay. Oh, look at these guys! Chef bros, they're like chef bros. Can I break, can I break this cheese? Yeah! Break all this cheese, look at all these. This is, this is reminding me of uh, Game & Watch and Smash, honestly. Okay, I guess I could do this. Bam, 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 bam! This is reminding me of Game & Watch when he throws the sausages everywhere as his, uh, his neutral B move. There's hidden purples behind these things, this cheese. So I'll go grab that. Okay, I already grabbed that. Let's just keep... Should I just clean all this out? Should I just clean up house over here? It's not even reaching, it's not even reaching. There we go, there we go. This is fun, this is fun guys. This is actually really fun. <laughs> um, wow. This is... This is a feeling I haven't had with a lot of other games, which is just going around and screwing around and having fun just like with the mechanics of the game and just just playing, you know? Literally just playing, just playing around. Look at this lever, the switch. Switch. Meta. I don't think there's any more purples in here and these... Oh, actually they're not too hard to do. Let's take care of this. What do we got? Okay. Sweet. No timer or anything, it's just, uh, it's just ready for us to take. Very cool, under the cheese rocks. Under the cheese rocks, I like it. I like me some cheese rocks. Awesome, okay, cool. Oh, wow, that's a lot of land that just popped up. Big pot on the volcano and dive in. So we gotta go up there. We gotta go up there. Look at that stew, that looks, that looks delicious, actually. Mm. Definitely cream-based. You know I'm a fan of that cream-based stew. Soup. Are stews ever cream-based or are they just soup usually? Uh, that's, that's my question for you guys. What are your favorite soups and stews? And are they cream-based or not? Nah? I guess I need to light this thing on fire. I'm guessing Oh god, get out of here, spiny bro. How do I get rid of those things? Okay. So can I... There we go. Oh, okay. Nice. That makes me feel a little... That makes me feel like I accomplished something. Let's grab this baby. Light the lantern on the small island. 
That is a very on-the-nose name for that moon. I'll take it. I'll take it, that's fine. Get out of my way, dude. I'm trying to climb up top here. There's, oh, purples. Let's get this flingle fly up. Oh, there's a little hat. Uh, there's a little hat thing down there. I think I'm gonna explore that after we beat this gigantic bird. More coins, don't need. All right. Get that, get that guy out of here. Okay. So we are here, I think, uh, where we're gonna go launch into the volcano and get that stew, uh, get the bird. Oh, okay, there's more, there's more purples down there too. There's purples everywhere here. How many are there? This is, uh, this is a hundred purple game, uh, kingdom with 56 moons. So this is gonna be a big kingdom. This and Seaside seem to have been pretty big kingdoms, so I'm I'm down. I'm down for that size. There's another moon over there. But I think uh, I'm going to leave off for this episode. Remember, if you guys are old timers or new timers, please show your support by leaving a like down below. Subscribe for more of this. Comment on your thoughts. Uh, comment on anything. I think I asked you guys a bunch of questions, so I'm expecting answers to each and every one of them. Expecting to hear from you, and I will, I'll grade and get back to you uh, in the next couple of days for sure. But, um... I will uh, let you guys go and catch you in the next one. Bye.